off episodes clearly affect the quality of life of our individuals. So in our particular example, our, our, our person with Parkinson's is a teacher. She's a third grade teacher. So she has an off episode while she's teaching. She can have difficulty carrying out her lecture. She may have more tremor. Uh, so writing on a board may be more difficult. Sometimes we see a smallness in handwriting, the micrographia, or just speaking may be much softer during an off episode. So we can see a return or worsening of hypophonia sometimes during these off episodes. So definitely, so if somebody is uh, working, the employment can definitely be hindered when, when there's a return of the Parkinson's symptoms. I've had certain patients tell me that they go back sometimes to their offices and lie down on their couch for an hour while their off episode is occurring. And they're sometimes praying that the medicine kicks in as soon as possible so they can get back to work and ho hopefully that their boss won't see that they're lying down. So these off episodes can clearly affect uh, the employment of, of an individual. And just the activities of daily living. So I have patients who have gone out to restaurants and they eat a high protein meal. And now this interferes with their medication, especially the carbidopa levodopa. And they're frozen in their chair where they have been eating. Uh, so again, having an in inhalation powder could be very beneficial to get them out of that restaurant within 10 minutes. Uh, and it, may not make as big of a scene if you're stuck there for about an hour or so waiting for the medicines uh, to kick in. I, I've even had individuals who go to plays or movie theaters and if they have inhalation powder, they're able to get going again. So that trip out to uh, the Grand Canyon to go take pictures may not be able to be occur, occur because of the off episodes and the person may be less likely to enjoy in their leisurely activities, especially sometimes these off episodes can be very unpredictable. So these on-demand therapies, I think, are extremely helpful to really give the quality of life back to, to our patients and for them to take control of these off episodes and stop them when you, st when you start feeling them coming on. We as neurologists use the terms on and off, and I think our patients don't necessarily know what on and off means. Uh, so I think now's a great time to educate both physicians and caregivers and patients better terminology to talk to each other, or at least for us to tell, for us to educate them what on and off is. So our patients and caregivers talk about a return of symptoms. So there's more tremor, there's more rigidity, there's more anxiety, more mood irritability, sweats, a feeling of brain fog. These are the types of terms that we hear from our patients and caregivers. So when we hear these terms, when we hear return of the Parkinson's symptoms, that's what an off period is. An on period is when the medicines are working. That's when our patients feel the best. They feel like sometimes they don't have Parkinson's and they can carry out all their activities of daily living. They can carry out their employment activities, et cetera. So I think that's really the most important thing is for us to teach each other the language that we each choose. And that way we can really tell our patients and caregivers of what, what an on time is and off time is, so we can deliver the best medicines to be able to treat the symptoms. Overall, what we're trying to do is improve the quality of life of, of our patients with Parkinson's disease. And our caregivers can clearly know, know when our patients are off. They just don't function as well uh, uh, when the medicines are working. They, they function very well. The activities of daily living are, are much better. And definitely the caregiver burden increases during those off periods. So a lot of times you'll have the caregiver complaining a little bit more than, than the patient. And again, getting everybody on the same page is important so that we choose the right medications and we approach uh, uh, the, the patient in the best interest of the patient uh, to get that quality of life uh, to the best that it can be in dealing with Parkinson's disease.